Hello everyone, I have another video today showing a pretty nasty staircase restoration um, where some concrete stairs were totally damaged and we took it from what you saw there to a finished restored state in one day. Uh, it's pretty badly damaged. You can only see parts of the damage here. They had to put some metal on the step in some kind of an attempt to keep them safe, but uh, once you get working with the jackhammers and removing all the loose deteriorated concrete, you can see how badly destroyed it is so we went to work at it you want to get off all the loose deteriorated concrete you can we have most of it removed here i'm just going around and doing a final cleanup on any loose pieces i i can see and find uh, to bring it here to this state where as you can see most of the step was totally removed there was no structure left on it but now we're down to a nice solid surface and built up some pretty simple forms here we're just putting vaseline on them it works really well with the tf structural as a form release and uh, we set the form in place you can see it's a very simple design we just use a straight two by four with some plywood to make sure it stays straight and then we're just using some of our bags and pails of rocks to put behind that form to act as weight you only have to hold it in place for about 10 to 20 minutes and the tf structural is going to cure nice and strong and then you can strip the forms and keep going um, it's really important to work that product in down into the form so you don't get any big gaps or seams or or air pockets um, and yeah just work the product back and forth till it's in place here we've built this is only about 10 15 minutes later we built the second form right on top of the first one because that product underneath is already set and cured this is what's really nice uh, about using the TF Structural is how fast it does set up for you. You can just keep building and, and going. I'm just using a screed here. I don't have any edge at the back of the step, so this screed is just helping me to make sure I have the step nice and flat and uh, sloped properly. You want to make sure the stairs are sloped forward, especially in winter climate, so it doesn't pool water and, and freeze in the winter times. So this is about... 20 to 30 minutes after we poured that first step and we're already stripping off the form uh, ready to move on to the next stairs there uh, and before you resurface that face make sure you give it a grind because it's going to be covered in that vaseline we used on the form so you want to make sure that's all ground off so you get a good bond with the structural and up top here uh, i'm just using a screed to follow the existing uh, profile um, and level of the the top pad there and just screening right back to that top form that we put on and then once that sets again only in about 10 to 15 minutes we're just filling in the rest here and using the trowel to go between the form and that back screed that we just completed to make sure the again the water slopes right off the top of that top landing so here it is all complete deep filled this was about a three hour process to get it all formed and deep filled and, and rebuilt and then we're just running a diamond grinder over the whole surface just to smooth it out and give it a final prep before we do our skim coat uh, on the on the pad and, and the stair treads. And then we like to start with the risers. Here's a technique where you can take a little bit on your trowel, use a top trowel to spread the mix right up into, and that will really help keep it on the riser. Um, you can make the mix a little wetter or a little drier it depends on your preference here if you go drier you can get it a lot flatter if you go a little wetter you can use a technique like this where you just get a paintbrush or a small broom to to smooth it out it's going to leave some light broom marks in uh, the riser so it's all really preference on the look so we have the risers all done and we're going to get ready to skim coat the entire uh, staircase now you can also see we put in some more product up top. I wasn't happy with the level of that upper pad. It was going to be pooling some water. So we poured some more structural, used the screed, and just filled in the low spots. Uh, and now we're doing our final overlay. And as you watch throughout this video, you can see we're using many different mix consistencies with the TF structural. You can go more or less as wet or as dry as you need it wetter for thinner applications like we're doing here and we we make drier mixes for the the deep forming that we're doing also we added aggregate to that uh, form material and there you go so that's a one day full restoration of the staircase completely overlaid um, safe good to use and durable and this is going to last 10 to 20 years as you can see in some of uh, a lot of the other videos we have and sorry I wasn't able to get all the skim coat process, but we do have lots of other videos showing us doing that.
Take care.